Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Good, because I can't, but <laughs> I'm good. Okay, this here first one's called the, the Deli Girl, and it's about a uh, friend of mine and a relationship that he had. <clears throat> the Deli Girl. I saw her down at the local deli standing in front of the cheese that smelled. I got a chill up and down my spine. In that line, she looked so fine, holding that $8 wine. I wanted to know her name, so I asked. She said, Christine. She was pristine, but I just called her lady. We hit it off and had a hit to loosen up our tongues a bit. She told me she blew the heart, but so did I. I did not want to blow it, and she knew it. A joke, a laugh, some broken ice. She seemed contented. That was nice. There was a feeling called a vibe. Some things are too hard to describe, but I'll try. My octane burns fast and hot. She slammed on the brakes a lot. I had whiplash and a sore head bone. There was no parking in her comfort zone. After some time, we both moved on. Back at the deli, filling my belly, reading on Facebook and wasting time. Over the end of the sub I was eating, I recognized her. She was tweeting. I got up, hesitant to interrupt, but I did. Christine, fancy meeting you here again. Must be 40 years ago back then. She really looked different, but so did I. She still had that shine that caught my eye. I wanted to hug her, but I thought twice. She hugged me, and that was nice. After dishing out the fine how-do-you-do's, we spent 10 minutes swapping news and views. Those few minutes felt like an hour. The vision hit me of a time-lapse flower. The clerk called her name. He said, Chris. One kosher dill and one ham and Swiss. She grabbed her sandwich, turned and said goodbye. I gave her a wink and a wave of an eye. I hope it's not too cheesy, she laughed. That, that's, so that's that. <laughs> I, got, I, I got one more here, and it's sort of interesting. <laughs> it's called Alone with a Pen. Alone I sit with my thoughts and my pen, conjuring up a sentence to rhyme. The essence seems right. This could be the night. I'll write the most beautiful poem of all time. Or maybe I'll just fizzle again. Over and over, try as I might to deliver like bards before me their flowing and glowing oral reports. It's as if the gods of Gab ignore me. Whatever I write just doesn't turn out right. Out, damn spot, out. So simple a line escapes me. I've racked my brain until there's pain. To be or not to be is not to be for me. All that remains seems to be doubt. I've not been accused of being a quitter. Some even have said I'm bullheaded. I'll take it to heart. It can't be that hard to refuse to submit to that which I've dreaded. The taste of defeat would be oh so bitter. For now, I sit alone with my thoughts in my pen for as long as beats my heart inside. Hope springs eternal to escape the infernal failure to which I will not abide. Tomorrow, sweet tomorrow, I'll live to write again. Thank you.